Hey bosses, it's Charles Brown, the Boss Golf here with another great golf video. We are here talking about great golf trips. Getting ready for a little warm-up session here at the range. And I thought I would give you a little love on where to golf and what the best destinations are for the best type of golf trip you're taking. Father's Day is right around the corner. Summer's here, so it's time to start getting those golf trips lined up. So for each of these categories, I'm going to give you a great destination. We're going to start in the West, and this is going under my list as a great bucket list, but also a great couples trip. And we're talking about getting out to Chambers Bay. Uh, Washington is awesome. Seattle's awesome. Chambers Bay is a definite must play course that you're going to really enjoy. If you're out in the West, I also highly think you should think about Pebble. Pebble's the big bucket list course, I think, for the West Coast. Um, something that I feel all golfers in America should definitely get a chance to play. And if you're out there, play Spyglass too. It's also a bucket list level course. If you're already in the Bay Area, think about getting up to Napa, which will make it a great couples trip. But also get in Pasa Tiempo down in Santa Cruz, great course. In the West, when we're talking about buddies trips, I think San Diego makes a great buddies trip. You could throw in Torrey Pines, but for me, the real finds down there is Madaris and Aviera. Um, if you're going a little bit further up in SoCal, Pelican Hill is great for a great family trip. It's great for a great couples trip, and it's just great if it's you and your guys. It's a really great um, SoCal destination, great beach views, cliff views, um, outstanding resort itself and it's gonna give you everything you need with two Fazio courses. If you're talking about romance, I think the best romantic destination is gonna be Half Moon Bay. Two really nice courses, and really you can't go wrong with the Ritz-Carlton Resort overlooking the water. The ultimate buddies trip is gonna be Bandon Dunes, of course. Everybody should know about Bandon Dunes. If you're on my page, you know about Bandon Dunes. Pull the trigger, get to Bandon Dunes. If somebody's trying to figure out a way to get you really happy for Father's Day, tell them, let you go play Bandon Dunes, or if they're really awesome, pay for Bandon Dunes. Next, we're going to the East. And for me, if you're in the Mid-Atlantic like I am, I think a great destination that can be easily overlooked, which is gonna be great for a buddy's trip with two courses already on the property, a great resort. Um, for a, res a family trip or a couple's trip, and that's Nemecolon. Uh, two Pete Dye courses, really great. Used to host the tour. You'll definitely enjoy it. Just south of Philadelphia, just north of Maryland. For our people further up north, you're definitely going to want to check out Turning Stone in New York. It's a casino. It's got two courses. It might even have more than two courses. Um, really great. If you're talking about a budget trip and a bucket list experience, you want to get out to Bethpage Black. If you're already going to be in New York, it's a really short drive from the city. It's definitely worth it. It's something all golfers should take in. If you're in the Philadelphia area, I would recommend getting out to Glen Mills. That's probably my favorite public course that's in the Philadelphia area. It's definitely a can't miss experience and something that you'll really enjoy. Moving on to the south, we have so many great resorts in the south. Going for family, if you're going for a couple's trip, I highly recommend Kiowa with the ocean course. It's a bucket list level course. I like it, I feel it's really tough. Um, I probably wouldn't do it as part of a buddy's trip. While they do have a lot of courses out there at, um, at Kiowa, I'm not a huge fan of all of them. I think a lot of them are just okay. One of my favorite destinations for a couple's trip and one of my favorite destinations for a buddy's trip is Sea Island. I think it's really great. The whole area is really great for a family's trip as well. Uh, for me, the, one of the best experiences is getting a lesson there. They probably have some of the best coaches and the best setup for actually improving your game. So if you just want a, a you vacation, something for you, um, get out there, take a lesson, improve your game. Two pretty good courses are out there too. Some nice views, also host the tour. Um, the only reason I'm recommending this trip is if you need to um, bring your partner along, and that is to Grove Park Inn in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, Asheville is perfect for a couple's trip. Your lady will definitely enjoy it. Asheville is like the destination among destinations for couple's trips. And Grove Park is a solid Donald Ross course that you'll enjoy while you're there. If you're looking for buddy's trips, the ultimate buddy's trip in the south for me is Pinehurst. 
Um, there's other destinations like Myrtle Beach, but I think you're better off going with Pinehurst. Um, throw in Mid Pines, Pine Needles, um, Southern Pines, which to myself is actually my preferred route, or stay at the Pinehurst Resort and play maybe two, four, and eight. Can't go wrong. The Cradle, no matter what you do on this trip, is a must play. And I think Tobacco Road is a must play. That's a bucket list level course. But that's a great destination all together. So get yourself to North Carolina for a buddy's trip. If you're looking for a buddy's trip, I'm also recommending Stream Song. This is kind of like a great winter destination. It's great year round, but I think with three courses, it's really a great buddy's trip destination. This is not a couple's trip destination. This is not. This is for the guys. This is for you. This is not for the family. Also, if you're in Alabama, you're deep down the south, the RTJ Trail, can't really go with, wrong with that. A lot of great courses. This is a great buddy's trip. Start up north, work your way south, start down south, work your way north. Flying from one airport, fly out another. Lots of courses on the trail. Definitely recommend this experience. The best tip I can give you for a golf trip destination to avoid, never go to Orlando. Never go to Orlando. Just never go to Orlando. If you're going to Orlando, just take the family to Disney, skip the golf, focus on the family. I have no recommendations for Orlando unless it is freezing in where you are and there's just nothing but snow there's no reason to play golf in Orlando next is the Midwest and I work the Midwest by state so we're talking bucket list course we're talking about going to Wisconsin playing the Kohler getting to Sand Valley Sand Valley may be one of the best built courses and the resorts for a buddy's trip it just has a great buddies vibe but you really can't go wrong with Aaron Hills, Kohler, getting up to Whistling Straits, the Irish Course, Black Wolf Run. But then Sand Valley just has that energy about it that is just buddy's trip. And with the addition of the Lido, which I have to figure out a way to get out there and play it, you can't go wrong with Wisconsin. For a family trip, I'm actually recommending French Lick, Indiana, getting down to the French Lick Resort. Uh, two great courses, Pete Dye at one of his absolute best courses, and you also have a Donald Ross that goes very underlooked. He just snuck into the top 100 um, public courses, and it should have been there for so much longer. But the resort is really nice, great opportunity to get out there with family. Also has a casino if you want to make this a buddy's trip. Um, can't go wrong. There's nothing else in the area as far as golf, just these two golf courses, but they will definitely keep you satisfied. Um, next would be Michigan. Um, getting up in the state, up north, is probably the best option for you. Get out there to Arcadia Buffs. If you're trying to be a little bit more um, bargain friendly with some solid course, Grand Traverse is a great addition. Um, you also have Forest Dunes up there, which has the Forest Dunes course and the Loop, which is the reversible 18. I think it's good. You know, I think you can really just play it one way and get the idea of what it's like to play it both ways. But Forest Dunes is a solid track, and Arcadia Bluffs is a can't miss. And I'm still trying to get myself up to Marquette, Michigan, to play Gray Walls. I know it's an extra drive, but I hear that it's definitely worth it. Just local course experiences in the Midwest. I would say if you are in Chicago, getting out to Cog Hill. I know everybody in Chicago says we have so many other great courses. I just love Cog Hill. Even if you don't love Cog Hill, I think Cog Hill is one of the best courses I've ever played, um, public courses I've ever played, so it's definitely worth it. If you're in Ohio, get out to the Virtues. Um, just a great track. I'm actually going to try to sneak out there in a couple of weeks next time I go to Ohio. Um, these are also great budget-friendly options. These are um, Chicago's a great city, so it's great for a couple's trip. Um, Cog Hill is not too far outside of the city, so it's definitely worth it. Um, there's a lot of things you can do through the Midwest, great weather um, in the summer, and lots of great courses. I myself like to sometimes just take a tour through the Midwest, driving from state to state, playing other courses. And I'm trying to get myself up to Minnesota to see all the great courses that I hear that they have there. Last is if you want to go international, of course, Ireland, Scotland. If, you know, if she loves you, Ireland, Scotland just get to Ireland, Scotland. But you can do a lot of great things. If you're trying to make it a couple's trip, Dominican Republic is always great. While it's not international, the trip time feels international. Get over to Hawaii. You also have Cabo, the Dominican Republic, Cancun. I think Cancun is actually a fairly budget-friendly version, um, just not as great of courses as Cabo. 
You can also go up north and make yourself get up to Cabot, which is probably my best golf destination. It's my number one course I've ever played is Cabot Cliffs. Definitely worth playing. And if you're looking for a buddy's trip, that is definitely it. So that's like a bucket buddies list trip. Most importantly, the thing to take away from this video is not all the great golf destinations. I mean, I'm going to try to help you out the best I can there. Is getting the people in your life to understand that you want golf for your gifts. Not golf clubs, not golf balls, not golf gift cards. You want golf trips. You want to be able to get out there and golf, go out and see this great country, this great world, and all the golf it has to offer. So share this video with them. Start planning trips with them. Let them send you out by yourself. My wife loves telling me, just get out the house and go golf. And then I come back so happy and so much a better husband and father. Everybody have a happy Father's Day. Wishing everybody the best. Have a great one, bosses.